If you're someone who can read notes easily in treble clef but not in bass clef or the other way around, this is a little trick that can help you read the notes in the clef that you don't know as well. It's very simple. All you need to know is that notes in bass clef are moved down one space or one line from the notes in treble clef. Let me show you what I mean. So for instance, this note right here is an A in treble clef. See how it's in the second space? This would be the first space, the second space, the third space, and the fourth space, right? So it's in the second space. And if I were to draw an A in bass clef, I move it down one space, and it's in the first space. See how this is the first space? First, second, third, and fourth. So it just gets moved down one space. All right, let's look at another one. How about the note G? Okay, so here's G. G would be on the second line in treble clef. See how this is on the second line? First line, second line? So in bass clef, that note will just be moved down one line. So it will no longer be on the second line, but it will be on the first line. So we would draw our G right here on the first line. Make sense? Let's do some others. Here's the note C in treble clef. Okay, what would, so see how it's in the third space? One, two, three. What would this note be? in bass clef, which is on the second space. It would also be C, right? Because it just got moved down one space. So this is the third space and then the second space. They're both the note C. It might be easy actually to see the notes right next to each other. So I'm gonna erase the clefs and I'm just gonna draw notes on a line. So this would be the note D in treble clef, right? And this would be the note D in bass clef. See how they're one? line, it just gets moved down one line. Um, here's another one. This is the note E in treble clef. This is the note E in bass clef. See how it just got moved down one space? Now, just as a heads up, you're probably going to watch this video and maybe you're going to think, oh yeah, I already knew that. Or maybe you'll think, hey, that's really cool. If you're one of the people that thought, hey, that's really cool, I want to remember this. The thing that you're gonna find tricky to remember is you're gonna remember that they're one space or one line apart from each other, but you'll never be able to remember which one it is. Is it the bass clef that's lower or the treble clef that's lower? But all you need to remember is that the bass clef is always one space or one line lower than the treble clef. And you can think of that, um, I think the easiest way to remember that is that bass instruments are lower and treble instruments are higher. You know, bass is lower than treble. Uh, and so because of that, you could just think of that the notes in bass clef are lower on the staff than they are in treble clef. So what I mean by that is this is in the note E in treble clef, right? And in bass clef, it's going to be lower. That E is now going to be there. It moves a whole line down beneath the staff, OK? OK, now we'll do some the other way. So what is this note? So this is a B in bass clef. So if this is a B in bass clef, where would the B be in treble clef? Okay, so we're gonna move it up a line because it's on a line, we're gonna move it up one line. So it's not gonna be on the second line. It's gonna be on the third line, one, two, three. So this would be our B in treble clef. Let's do another. Okay, this is the note G in bass clef. It's on the fourth space, C, one, two, three, four. And if I wanna put that in treble clef, that note G, well, I'm just gonna move it up one space, right? Because treble is higher. So it's going to be here. That would be a G in treble clef. So it's really straightforward, right? If it's, you just move it up or down one space or one line. And remember, if it's in treble clef, it's a space or line higher. And if it's in bass clef, it's a space or line lower. That is it. Super short video today, but I think this is a super helpful trick. So hopefully you enjoyed it too. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment and share it with a friend who you think might enjoy it as well. If you're new to my channel, hello and welcome. I post one video a week. And if you wanna see more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know when I post a new video. I have a printable PDF worksheet to go along with this video. And I have tons of other music theory worksheets as well available currently to my Patreons. Uh, you can check those out in a link in the description below. Um, that is it. I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day or night, and I will see you next week.